Hi, my name is Diane. I am 62 years old and was diagnosed with IC on Easter Sunday of 2018. But I knew something had been wrong for a very long time prior to that, maybe dating all the way back to my high school days. I've decided to do these videos, blogs, to hopefully do my part to help educate the public as to what our plight is living and existing with this chronic debilitating disease. Someone unlucky enough to be inflicted with this condition is, as someone said on one of my support groups, I see, and I quote, I see is a death sentence without an expiration date, end of quote. Beautifully said. At first, I looked to the internet for, in for information as to what exactly it was I had. After, I grew to better understand what the disease was. I looked to the internet for support. I found support groups on the internet and I especially liked the one I found on Facebook. It was a closed group and everyone was very supportive and I found them to be the only ones who truly understood how I felt every single day. I thought that was enough. I truly thought I could deal with this. At least it wasn't terminal. How bad can it be? I quickly learned that though this would not kill me, it would make my life forever change and would lead me down a dark and scary road where there were times I wished it was terminal. At least there would be an end in sight. This had no end, just pain and suffering. I listened to a young woman named Libby who was also blogging this condition in hopes of at least making people understand what it is we have. I decided to accept her challenge and start video blogging myself and sharing my story as she is sharing hers. This is a big step for me. I'm not one to normally do something like this. I'm not a camera lover at all. Like Libby, I found the healthcare community, of which I'm part of and have been for a very long time, very ignorant when it came to this disease, very ignorant. Um, when I went to a doctor, I would basically get one of two reactions. The first was usually, oh, it's simple, it's a urinary tract infection, but guess what? They would do a UA and it was negative. It wasn't, a, it wasn't an infection. No, shoot, that could have been easily treated with an antibiotic. And the second, after they realized that, I don't have an infection, well, she must be a drug seeker just looking for drugs. Otherwise, why would she come in here complaining of burning and, and excruciating pain on a scale of 1 to 10 of 10? The sad part was, even the physicians, the nurses, everybody, Felt this way. It, it just was horrible to be led down this path and to have people think that you're nothing but a drug seeker and that your pain is real. You start to wonder whether or not maybe you're making this up, but no, you're not. And I'm glad I found the support group because it helped me. It helped me understand that what I'm going through, so many more people are going through. I'm simply looking to get some relief. I want some semblance of a normal life back. I'm hoping that my blogs will help people understand just a little more what I see is and how it impacts our lives and the lives of our families. And yes, it does impact the lives of our families too. The ultimate goal though is that others like me start sharing their stories and hopefully they'll share mine with their friends list. There is strength in numbers. And that's what I'm counting on. That's what Libby's counting on. That's what we're all counting on. It could be our last chance or our only chance. Please watch for my videos. I will be posting, trying to any routinely about my journey and trying to give facts and trying to educate. So please, please share this with your friends. Like my site. Thank you. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you again. Thank you. Bye.